everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Rose and Chef Jerry. Today we're presenting you one of the oldest dish in the world, porridge. For centuries, the most popular porridge were made out of grain or plant-based. Today we're doing plant-based porridge with plantains. These are the ingredients we'll be using. The star of the show plantain is rich in complex carb, which keep you fuller and more satisfied after meals. It also contains fiber for digestion system and vitamin C, which act as an antioxidant to help boost your immune system. Not to be confused with bananas, plantains are starchy and contain less sugar. They are larger and tougher and better suited for a savory dish. Whereas banana, most people are familiar with, is sweet and usually used as dessert or snack. Let's flavor our water with cinnamon stick, anise star, and salt. And as it gets to a boil, it will reduce. As my water getting infused, I'm gonna get the plantain ready by cutting it, blend everything, and then I'm gonna come back to add the coconut milk. I'm back to add the coconut milk. Actually, I'm using the whole can and I'll be showing you what I was doing on the other side. So back in the old days, they used to grate the bananas. Today, we're using a blender. Much easier, much faster. But now we're gonna see how Rose peel her plantain technique. I can't do it. My goodness. And she says it's easy as one, two, three. It actually is to me. <laughs> I wanna know how many of you guys can peel a plantain like this. So you actually want to clean your plantain and you want to cut it in pieces where it won't damage your blender. Rose, so when can you consume this dish? Actually, um, this dish is commonly eaten as breakfast. However, some countries serve it as supper as well. Okay. As you can see, um, I don't put too much water. I'm using one cup of water, but you can add as much water as you want because I like mine in the thick side. That's the reason why I don't have a little water in the blender. So pretty much one to two cups, depending on how you'd like it. Alright, back on this side, we are going to combine the puree to a liquid and uh, make sure to reduce the heat to a medium. Carefully stir to prevent lumps and if that happens, just strain it and it will be just as good. We're going to add the brown sugar and evaporate it now. Yeah, for the brown sugar, it's up to you, you add the amount that you want. What 
what can we use instead of brown sugar? We can use honey or maple syrup. Okay. All right. And now we are adding the butter and the cream cheese. I don't know. I like the cream cheese. The flavor that it gives to the labuhi. And don't forget. It makes it creamy also. Yeah, one thing I want to say. Salt. If you do not add salt, your labuhi or your porridge will not taste good. Remember that in a lot of desserts, they always have a pinch of salt to accentuate. Adding the nutmeg and cinnamon. I know it looks a lot, but I like the flavor of the cinnamon. Time to play my favorite part. We are on the way. I'm gonna let this other tempo. Bob will take us for sure. I can't get you mad. On the toppings, it's really up to you. Some honey on top. You didn't want to put the honey inside or the sugar inside of the level of so your the porridge when you were making it. You can put it afterwards as a topping. Your choice. We'll be making more porridge recipes in the future, okay guys? Yep, there's so many different types of porridge. This one was plant-based. We'll do some grain, something to look forward to. Guys, call me weird, but I love malabuyi with peanut butter and bread. I like to dip it in there, soak it, and eat it just like that. Voila! Looks good and tastes good. Believe me. If you guys like this recipe, give us a thumbs up. And if you try it, leave a comment. As usual, the recipe will be down below. We want to thank our subscribers for their time and support and also if you are new to our channel please subscribe share and don't forget to hit the notification bell a bientôt see you next week <laughs>